The top two seeds in the Collider Volleyball District squaring off tonight in the title game as Liberty Benton takes on Coldwater. The MAC champs made it look easy Thursday night, sweeping Columbus Grove, while LB needed four sets to beat Ottawa Glendorf. A berth in the regionals on the line tonight. Coldwater fans hoping the Lady Cavs are great. And they're up a set on LB. Lauren Lagers goes off the block and down. Then Katie McKibben sets to Brooke Welsh. The senior nails the kill. More second set action. Check this out. Carrigan Gray free balls it over. Tasha Colley dives and finds the open floor. Outstanding play by the freshman. LB had an answer though. Lauren Cody the running kill. Such a fantastic season for Cody. Then Cody and Kelsey May standing tall at the net. They come up with the big block for the Eagles. Danielle Welsh back on the service line now and that's an ace landing in. Lady Eagles hanging around, Cody serving. Colleagues dig goes up in the air and Allison Hughes nails home the kill. After Coldwater took the second set, LB wins the third. Now it's match point in the fourth and that's gonna do it. Paige Hardings, the big kill. Coldwater wins 25-13, 25-21, 22-25, 25-18. And Mike Etzler's group is proud to be going back to districts for the second straight year. It's an year. unbelievable feeling. Um, to win the district three years in a row with the tough competition that we have is just, it's awesome. Liberty Benton's such a great team, so we're thrilled. I mean, it, it just says about their character and their heart. We talked about adversity and how, you know, when you're dealt with adversity, you can do one of two things, and there's a right choice and there's a wrong choice, and, you know, we, we did what we needed to do and chose the right way tonight, but we knew it was going to be like that. There are two great teams battling. You know, it feels awesome. Liberty Benton's a great team, and we just came out tonight, and we just had it all together. Like, the third game, most of their points came from our airs, and we knew coming into that fourth game, we just had to pull it back together and play like we did that first game. So it feels awesome to come out and get that district championship. He's happy. Coming up on the regional bracket, Coldwater will take on Ostego. That will be Thursday at 7.30, and then if Coldwater can advance, they'll face the winner of Utica and Huron.